Outdoors bound tonight. Tomorrow is the 4th of July and a lot of people are going to be headed for lakes, streams and even the ocean. And you can bet a lot of those people will be taking a fishing pole with them. George Noliff of our Outdoors Bound team joins us live in studio with more on fishing on the 4th. Hey, George. Hey, Drew. Hey, Stoney. When it comes to summertime fishing, we got a lot to talk about tonight, including some big news about Smith Mountain Lake. Let's get it started. How y'all doing, folks? If you're fishing for the 4th, a lot of you might be thinking about Smith Mountain Lake. If you're bass fishing, good call. Bassmaster Magazine's out with its list of the top 100 bass waters in the nation. Smith Mountain Lake is one of them. The folks at Bassmaster say Smith Mountain Lake earns the honor because of the number of bath, b bass, both smallmouth and largemouth, there are in that lake, as well as the number of large bass available. It's a great resource. Speaking of Smith Mountain Lake, it's also one of the top freshwater striper destinations in the eastern United States. Stripers are holding a little deeper as water temps rise, but good numbers being caught early morning and after dark are your best bets. As for freshwater fishing in general, if you're looking to fill a cooler for a fish fry, channel cats are coming off the spawn. They are hungry and easy to catch. Look at that as a little channel cat filet I fried up recently. Best bets for channels are SML, Clater, the Stanton River, the New River, and the James. Now you might be heading for the beach. Virginia Beach Fishing Center tells us the croakers have finally moved in. Not a lot better eating than that. A little further north, I checked with Captain Matt of Marshland Charters in Chincoteague. He says they're still getting a few flounder in shore, as well as spot croakers and kingfish. And you know, I like to keep you in the loop on local tackle makers. Big news from Salem-based Missile Baits. Missile's out with a new line of baits called the Bomba. It's a heavier weighted soft plastic with a real subtle action. The bait's gonna fall horizontal and it skips and casts really, really well. It looks just like a crawfish that's had all of its pinchers and its legs pulled off, which is an easy meal for bass to eat. And it's gonna, this is gonna come in eight different colors, just the three and a half inch size to start with. The bomb is versatile, heavy enough to be fished on a bait caster, but light enough to fish on a spinning combo. Either way, the subtle action should make it effective when fishing pressured lakes. And Stoney Drew, I actually brought back a few bombas so you could take a look at them. You got one up there on the desk. What do you think? See, I, it's the glitter for me. I, I didn't know if you got it special for Kathleen or what. <laughs> Shows you how much we know about fishing. <laughs> I thought the let's, bomba was a dance. Let's, let's, let's just say, yeah, I got it for cast. Okay. The great thing about a bait like this, it's easy to use, easy to cast. You can work it back slow. Easy for a pro to use, easy for a beginner to use. If I had to guess, there's going to be a lot of first bass caught on this one because, well, it's, it's an easy bait to use and, and it works really well in pressured water. Hey, your first bass. Yeah, it's pretty too. I can feel it coming for you, Drew. <laughs> Gonna get him out on the water, Georgie. I'll get him out there. All right, thanks, George.